What's up everybody? This is Daddy Dude 2011 with a jailbreak for 5.0.19A405 and there is Installulus Insidia on my iPod 4 and we will go into settings and I already opened it and there it is 5.0.19A405 all the ones I've seen were beta for 402 so this is how to do the 405 and you will need to go to this website I will have all everything in the description bar to get everything you need and when I did this I ran into some errors the first error I ran into was 3194 okay so in order to do that fix that your iPod plugged in which mine ain't you will go into con computer. Let me see if I don't neglect the camera. Okay. Hard disks, Windows. Uh, scroll down to System 32. And you will go to Drivers. And like I said, this is just to fix error 3194, etc. The host file. You open it up. I can open mine up. It's already been changed. Anyway, you open it and you will add this. You erase any other numbers that are there and put this one in. Okay, 74208105171. Space gs.apple.com. Okay, and this will help you to restore to an older version on iTunes. And you will go up here to file, and you have to open this with the notepad, mind you, and save as. And I've already done this, I already saved it, and save it to desktop. And see, there is the host file right there that I've already done. Okay, and anyway, you will go and take out the old host file because it'll look like a blank sheet of paper, like these ones. As you can see, mine is a different file that I put in there. You take out the old host file, put this host file in, delete it, whatever you feel comfortable doing, and that will clear up that. When I did that, I came up with another code. The code I came up with this time was a 1604, and I found on this website, this will fix it. As long as, give, as the files give you the download to jailbreak. Okay, and I will have this description, this in the description board too as well. It's this iRev4, iRev4 for iOS 3 to iOS 5, and that will, um, damn camera, that will help you with the 1600 errors, any 1600 error when going to older version that Apple does not support. Also, you'll need to jailbreak, you'll need the Snow Breeze version 2.8 beta 11 for iOS 5 and 501 okay these are both zip files this is like I said this is to repair any errors but you will not need to do this unless you come up with a 1600 error this you will download is a zip file I already downloaded my zip file and uh, let's see. I've downloaded the zip file and Okay, let's see, Snow Breeze. So you double click, you open that. Okay, and it'll ask you, blah, blah, blah. Yes. Okay, and I've done all this to mine. And, but I will show you, sort of, kind of. Push OK. Close credits. Let's back this up. And you will go to next. And you have to have your IPSW. Um, I have a link in the description bar for that also. Like I said, for everything. And you will go and get it. Let me see. Here we go. Okay. And as you see, right here. And you will double click on it. And now, it says I have the iPod Touch 4. 
and the firmware has been verified and so I will go ahead and click in the right hand bottom corner and I've only tried simple mode click on simple mode and what next no I don't want to play Pac-Man watch the spinner and this is making a custom IPSW for you it will install Cydia and everything on to your iPod as well I don't have mine hooked up to it or not since I've already done it so I'm going to cancel the build and this is what you will get out of it this file right here it is a snow breeze iPod touch 4 501 okay and you will use this with iTunes now you open iTunes and you have your iPod plugged in in DFU mode um, there's videos out there for all the all the DFU mode and uh, the iRebe and uh, so uh, yeah look at those if you need help with that so the snow breeze you will open up iTunes it will say you need to restore you will push shift and restore at the same time and uh, you will pull this file up and add this file in it will uh, load this file into it you will come up with a new after that's done you will have a new file open up and it'll be on your desktop automatically and it is the iBooty file select your device and you'll push start and it will help you put in DFU mode and this is a tethered boot and this is what it's doing now it's booting tethered and that's pretty much it like I said I had those errors and uh, I solved them and I will have all the links in the description for the two errors that I came up with plus the software the firmware to do this jailbreak and I hope it helps you if you need any more help or information just uh, leave comment and uh, thank you